Hi folks, welcome back. Lots of people have been asking me about Don's Shaper project. And so while I'm finishing up on this table, I think I'll let you watch a little video that I took. And for the new people, which there's quite a few this month, thank you very much. I truly appreciate your subscribing. Makes an old guy feel good. Anyway, I'm just about ready to finish this table up. Now it'll be in part three, maybe out Monday or Tuesday. But tonight we're going to let you see some of the video of Don Shaper. And for all the new people, I'm going to bring you up to date a little bit, show you some uh, of the history of the Shaper, and uh, I hope you enjoy it. The Shaper was in bad shape. Here's some pictures of what it looked like before. Mr. Ray, as I was just about ready to drive off, says, hey, you want to look at my shaper? I said, no. <laughs> he said, oh, come on, you got to look at my shaper. So against my will, he drug me out here back into the barn and uncovered this thing he had hiding. Now, this came out of a machine shop that had closed down. He's never put power to it. He noticed what was it with the clapper box? That they had welded it. They welded it down to keep it accurate. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I mean, I've heard of a few folks doing that, you know. Yeah. That's, that's not a real machine. That's, if they get loose, yeah, that's, that's somebody, that's, some hand. that's a, an old fix. And yeah, it works, but you're dragging your bit across. Yeah. Anyway. This one has the front bracket on it. It's got a vise on it. Motor's there. It doesn't have an automatic down feed, but everything else may be there. Everything they could get in otherwise. Did you have any of the handles that were over here on this yeah. side? Well, there's some right there. Yeah, there's handles. Got them there. What have you brought me, Don? Piece of cast iron. That looks in sad shape, Don. It's in very sad shape, Steve. What did it come off of, Don? Very dirty old shaper, Steve. Why the hell are you here then, Don? Because you told me to bring it and you'd fix it. Tell you a lie. <laughs> <laughs> Quick update on the shaper. Got it all primed. Priming was the easy part. Getting all the oil and grease off this puppy was the hard part. So she's ready to paint now, so 
I'm done this week, I'll uh, get, a, get a coat of final paint on it. Looking better though. Still got a lot of cleaning and painting to do. But the main parts, wanted to get this done so I could put it in my shop. Let's get it out of the weather. All the inside's clean too. That was a chore. It was like the Exxon Valdez down there, but we got her done. That's about it. Y'all have a good day. See you peeps. Well, that's a little of the history of it so far. Now I'm gonna take you into Don's shop and show you what we, or show you what he's been doing to it. All right, I'm back. I'm back at Don's place. I gave him a nice little pan break and the first thing he does is tear it all to pieces. What do you got to say for yourself? You can't paint it unless you take it apart. Uh, you have this fixation on paint, sir. Well, look at the results. Ain't too much. Yeah. Well, I, 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 baby. I, baby. Has he been treating you okay? Uh-huh. Yeah. Doesn't look like he's even turned you on. I said I did the other day. You did? Mm -hmm. We got another one sitting in my shop just like this one. In fact, it's one serial number off. Yeah. Just gotta get back to it. The reason I'm over here is people wanted an update on the... the, the Shaper? The Shaper, yes. I was trying to find I, know, a, to I was trying to find a nice name for it. Mm -hmm. You know. The little baby tool. Yes. A baby planer. A baby planer. No, not even close. Yes it is. It's the same principle. It does. It operates on the same So is a hammer and a chisel. Clapper box is a <laughs> clapper box. Yeah, the one that goes twenty inches and one that goes eight feet. But it does the same thing. On a smaller version. Just kind of. What have you done to this? You've messed with it more since I was here. Yeah, a little bit of, oh, I put the motor on. Motor's in the back. Yeah, it sounds pretty good. You did a good job. Hold on. There it. There's a motor. Tell us what you did to this motor. Well, that was the one that I brought to the the electric motor people to have it taken apart clean, they change the bearings and they re-dip the armature, the coils because it's got the the old motors like I said before have the cloth insulation on the coil wires which is going to break down sooner or later so they dip it and it seals and insulates the coil wires again That's the original motor right? That's the original motor, 5 horsepower and I just got it all wired up. Sounds pretty good. Not good anything. So I don't have the belts on it yet. You want the ram to go flying off? It's not hooked up yet. What's the difference? The difference is I cannot go any further till somebody who was supposed to make a nut to this machine makes that nut. Have you been nice to that person? I think so. I'll be the judge of that. <laughs> Well, you got all these other parts laying on the ground. You don't They're need all done. Nut. They're all done. I can't put them on because what is we that? need the cover. We, cover. Yeah, that's the cover. But we need this to test the test fit the nut because this is the same size as this leech screw here, which is where the nut's going. And that's for the ram, so I can't finish the ram because we need that out. I can't put that on because that's where the nut hooks to. Can't put that on because that goes on to that part. He put this back in because the nut goes on that. So all of this is patiently waiting for a nut. And the table came out pretty good. Yeah, that did. I mean, nice. it was progressing pretty bad. I'll throw up a picture of what this thing used to look like. Well, I did send you a little video on. I know, but on the actual, you might want to throw that one in, though, just <laughs> to show how that easy that works. No. With the, Standing in the 30, 40. To this esteemed viewers, a while back I had mentioned verbally how easy it is to get rust and clean up surfaces to make it look like this. 
with just some WD-40. Got spikes and a palm sander. So I've already done these two. They look just like this. Now this is how I came all rusted. I haven't done anything to it. Just spray some WD on there. Take the scotch bike pad. <laughs> Painted this one black pieces. A little, little contrast, that's all. And what kind of paint did you use? This is epoxy. And what's this other paint? That's the Sharon Williams direct to metal paint, the industrial, marine industrial. Marine industrial. Well, I got the handles, the little, uh, look at the glass clean, mm -hmm. clean. very clean in the oiler. Everything you see through it. Handles. Finish that. This thing's almost ready to sit here doing nothing. No, see all those blocks of steel over there? What blocks? On the of steel? desk. And then after you do that, it'll be doing nothing again. Like your planer does for like eight months after a year? My planer. Come on. Doesn't do that. Talk to, talk to. My planer works when I need it. Okay, this will work when I need it. Be it once every 10 years, once every month. I don't know. I don't know. Anyway. Just a fun tool to have, that's all. So you're tearing apart this now. Yep. This was a, un, unbeknownst to me, $6,000 tool I gave you. Yeah, it's a DRFO. They still make them. They list today. As a matter of fact, they make them almost identical. The only thing they've changed is this is not a casting anymore. This is just a, a rod for the handle. Yeah. But every other part is identical. You still get parts for it even. And the list price on it is like $5,900. You're so, welcome. And that table is part of, part of the, the break. This tool came out of my old high school machine shop. Yeah. Got to be what, 68 maybe? Uh, 70. I was there in 1974. I would think that it can't be much older than 70s because I think that's when the building was built. It's amazing they still make it. I yeah. bought it at an auction after they got rid of the shops in the school. Mm. Paid $250 for it. And I've carried it around for 30 something years. It's worth it, that's for sure. Just got a few of these missing, a few of the fingers missing. But now. Yeah, that's it's, the way it came. Kids are hard on stuff. But not, I, I think we've, we're missing a few of these. Missing, uh. Hey, I've missing got an one idea. of those, one of those, one, uh, and one of these. I've got an idea. Hmm. You could use that shaper to make some I could, more. I could. It'd be pretty easy. It'd be pretty easy. But there's two of each size. It's supposed to be two. Like this is two of the same size. So it's missing one of these, one of these, and one of these. Yeah. I never had them. I made do. Yep. Of course, you said it was a Diarco? Mm-hmm. Diarco. That's the name of my four foot hydraulic. Yeah. Yeah, they press. make other stuff too. Hmm? Yeah, they make presses too. Well, I don't know what else I can talk to you about. Pretty much it. That's pretty much what I've been concentrating on. been messing with this? Not yet. I want to finish the shaper first. Or I'll start on that one next. 
That one I have to take all apart to get, just to get the hydraulic tank out of it. Yeah. I'm sure it needs it. Oh yeah. It's not like an oil refinery in there, I'm sure. Well, I'm going to show some pictures of this stuff the way it looked before and close this video out. Yeah, it's hard and sweet. Short and sweet. Bye, everybody. Nice Bye. of you to nice of you to watch. Appreciate it. You could use that planer to work on that motorcycle over there. Like little chips. No. No. What oh, you mean, metal flag it? I could use the ch chips and, and no, metal flag it. No. Trying to save your life. Been riding motorcycles since I was 12 and made it to 70. And my fellow paramedics appreciate our continued job satisfaction. I have never been on the, I have never had the need of a paramedic yet riding a bike. That's what they all told me. <laughs> hey, people die in cars too. People die walking on the roads. I might have to kill you to people, take back my life. People die in the sleep. I died <laughs> on the operating table. There you go, see? All right, I'm leaving you alone. Goodbye. Well, I hope you enjoyed that. Maybe Tuesday of this week, I'll have a, a video out on finishing up this table. Thanks to all the new people that have been watching. It was an old man good to see some new subscribers once in a while. So thank you.